This is an audiovisual sample of a study on patient adherence metrics published by Best Practices. 27 of our biopharma partners from 20 organizations contributed data to this research. No matter the therapeutic area, competitor landscape, or list price, adherence metrics can be your main guidepost to ensure patients are benefiting as much as possible from your treatments. Brand level adherence data, which was surveyed as part of this study, can be an invaluable resource for planning adherence and other patient support programs. This study acts as a compendium of data for basic metrics such as fill rates, time to fill, and reimbursement rates, as well as complex metrics such as adherence, persistence, and compliance rates. This research also includes a breakout for rare disease brands. Numerous third-party factors such as reimbursement denials, sticker shock at the pharmacy, and pharmacy-driven switching all contribute to the industry-wide stagnation of adherence rates. But what are manufacturers doing to isolate these factors and increase adherence? In addition, lack of clarity around patient ownership, decision makers, and volume of patient communication are all factors which prevent patient adherence from being isolated and improved. This study also includes solutions that can be employed to both identify the causes for low adherence and compensate for them. As an example, let's look at the fill rate metric, which is commonly defined as the percentage of new prescriptions written that result in a dispensing of the drug to the patient. 72% of organizations track this metric. During the launch phase, most brands typically expect to see a minimum fill rate of 50%. One year later, the lower bound of this metric increases to 60% to reflect improvements in coverage and brand awareness. However, more than one year post-launch, the lower bound of expected fill rates drops back down to 55%. This discrepancy in fill rates over time is due to several factors, reimbursement, perceived seriousness of disease, and pharmacy incentives. To keep adherence rates from faltering, numerous strategies can be employed to confront these factors. One method that can add lift to adherence rates is hiring nurse educators to educate providers on the barriers ranging from reimbursement to administration. Just let them know, here are the things patients can likely expect. That will start patients on the right foot. For more information on best practices, benchmarking reports, and database, contact us at 919-403-0251 or email us at information at bestinclass.com.